Welcome back to our Miss Let's Play. Uh, last we left off, we just completed the Mechanical Age, and we have the blue page to put in. Uh, now, as you know, my tradition of having something uh, yummy to drink, whoa, game just freaked out a little bit, uh, something yummy to drink, I am drinking a Sam Adams Cherry Wheat. Uh, also, keep in mind, I am 21, so no excuses, underage watchers. You can drink other yummy things that are not alcoholic. This is, this is an a legal tradition. Legal tradition, I say. But yes, we were about to put this and see what uh, blue page or blue book man. I'm going to turn it up for when we do this. Mm -hmm. You've returned. You wouldn't protect. You hate it? You make it? I'm acting off. My brother, I beg you! To be complete? Always blue pages. Listen to him. Now listen to my brother. Alright then, turn that back down. So, there's a little bit more meat, uh, you know, things to talk about in that message. Uh, some notable things. Uh, he said he was at Knar again. Um, he said he needs to be rescued, that he's trapped. Um, that we shouldn't listen to his brother, that he's a liar. Uh, always bring the red pages, not the, or always bring the blue pages, not the red pages, or, you know, the pink pages. <laughs> Uh, as, as we've been calling them, because that's what they are. Uh, so, I mean, it doesn't, it tells us a little bit more. He's saying not to trust the pink page man, but, uh, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna see what he has to say in fairness. But they did reveal that they are brothers in those, in their, in those books, or at least the messages in those books, I should say. Alright, so we're going to go back to the Mechanical Age real fast, and we're going to get a pink page and come back and hear what Pink Book Man has to say. Very simple, since everything's solved here now. Um, the only thing is, this is not open, but we have the code already. So what you have to do is you just come back here. We want to go to the left, I believe. Yes. And we remember it was in a secret behind the tapestry which was by the throne. Here we go. The much better hidden secret room. Uh, Akinar's hit se secret room was pretty pathetic. Pretty sad. Maybe he wasn't trying to hide it that badly. Who knows? Um, oh. I'm gonna turn around. It's not where we wanna go. We wanna go back out the way we came. Now let's see if I can remember this code off the top of my head. I haven't played this for a few days, cause, uh, but... I, uh, let's see if I remember it from my, from my code things. Oh, the code's already in here. Well, that makes it really easy. Darn it! I was gonna try to remember. It was the elevator symbol, the triangle, rectangle, triangle symbol, the sun rising over the mountain symbol, and the Pac-Man eating something really large symbol. Oh, yeah! Coming up with names for stuff like that is very useful for mem remembering things. Record time, although I'm sure it's not record time. And look, look at in our hand. Look, it looks like a red page. It's not what it looks like. Why do you lie to me, game? Why do you lie to me? All right, let's turn the sucker way up here. You've returned. Yes, I have. Thank you for bringing me that day. You're welcome. Must continue. Bossy. My name is Sirius. I beg you, find me. Remain in my pages. You 
must win. So, in that message, we got very similar things uh, from, from Blue Book Man, uh, a.k.a. Akinar. Akin um, Cirrus here says very similar things. Uh, he's happy we returned. Uh, he wants us to bring him red pages, uh, his brother's not to be trusted, etc., etc. So, um, yes, we, I figure we should continue to bring red and blue pages so we can get more information. Uh, obviously, we got more information by putting the, the pages in the books, so it makes sense we'd want to hear both sides of the story just to figure out what the heck happened here. Uh, we know that uh, Atris believes it is one of his sons that burned these books in the, here in the library from his message, and, I mean, it stands to reason that maybe we should figure out who did that um, and uh, who we should be trusting, but we don't know who that should be yet. Now, as I said, I've been reading books one at a time based on where we're going to go. Um, I have to decide which one we want to go to. I think, yes, I think uh, this is the book I want to go to next. And I will, hopefully you guys can figure out where we're going next uh, as we're reading this. And um, then we can start solving the puzzle uh, that corresponds with this book here. So, like I said before, if you are not interested in the books, I will put an annotation so you can skip past that part, but I really enjoy them. I think they add something. Emmett was the first to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that is what they were, a group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of a large sea. This is where Emmett lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmett would occasionally swim to nearby rocks as it was never too far of a distance. One day another person appeared on the rocks, for no apparent reason to Emmett. Emmett named this new person Branch. Emmett and Branch quickly became friends, swimming and hunting for fish together often. Emmett showed Branch the simple cave in which he lived on the largest rock. Soon, Branch discovered a place where he decided to live, also on the same large rock. The sun always shone brightly in their world, and the water was always dazzlingly clear, allowing them to see almost to the deep ocean floor which surrounded them. My apologies, I cannot say that word for some reason. Though the sun always shone, it was never too hot for the boys. A light breeze always came from the north and cooled the area down. One day, while Branch was swimming and having fun in the water, he noticed another boy swimming. Branch thought the new boy to brought the new boy to Emmett to find out what to call the new boy. Emmett said the boy should be called Will. Will was soon a part of the group, and all three of the boys swam and enjoyed their perfect world. At least, that is the story. I was told when I arrived today at the, on the island. Emmett, Branch, and Will were surprised to see me at first, but even before the night ended, we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day on this newly created age, a strange thing happened. It was not strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing under a large tree on one of the smaller rock islands, it began to rain. It was a nice rain that lasted for about an hour in the morning. I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful, yet they obviously feared it. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys I would leave the following day I told them that while I was gone, I would make a surprising change in their world. They did not understand, not that I expected them to. I still do not fully understand what happened today. I was experimenting with the art, testing the limits of the rules as dictated to me by 
father, I attempted to create a boat by writing it into the world. I thought everything was planned correctly, yet somehow the boat had become gripped by the rock and broken in half. Although this test did not turn out as I hoped, I now have answers to a few of the questions my father never answered. As for the boat, I can see the boys enjoy it anyway, and with that I am pleased. They have played on it all day. Even though the boat cannot move, I have enjoyed studying it. It is a much sturdier platform than the jagged rocks. In the course of my observations, I have learned some very interesting things regarding the solar system of this age. And here's a picture of a submersible lamp right here. The nights are absolutely beautiful here. I have made note of and named a number of constellations that pass above me. Also during the night I catch glimmers of light from the horizon which I have not been able to discover if it is created by some natural phenomenon or by additional people on far off islands or rocks. I should be very I should very much like to discover which I rather suspect it is additional people which would explain the appearance of Branch and Will. The rain today was slightly heavier than usual. Just when the boys were getting used to the light rain, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavier rain, not to mention the thunder and lightning. If rain has never fallen here until recently, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is falling now. Regardless, I have decided to return home for a short while. I have also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light toward the horizon, it might prove my suspicions regarding additional inhabitants. They would be curious about the light and travel to discover its source, if they have the means. I returned with many tools that I will need for the construction of the lighthouse. I have decided that once the lighthouse is completed, I will leave for some time and let the world's own imagination have control. We have worked three weeks on the lighthouse now, and we are making great progress. The rocks that we are building on seem to not be as secure as I would like. I have to alter my plan slightly, but those alterations pose no real problem. And here we have a picture of the lighthouse to our left, and a picture of what looks to be the top with the light and construction and size. The boys are quite strong and have been helping me immensely. I will. I estimate construction will be done within a few days. The lighthouse is finished and we are all proud of our creation. The boys are amazed at the structure wrought from rock with their own hands. That evening we powered up the generator, much to the boys' dread at first, and shined a great light to the horizon for many hours. I stayed the night in the top of the lighthouse and in the morning awoke to observe the sunrise without my being coated with the chilly blanket of ocean dew I had become accustomed to. It was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming not far from the boat where Will was getting ready to hunt for fish. Then Will noticed a man not far away from the girl. Emmett was very pleased to meet the additional neighbors. I feel pleased to leave this age. I have set in motion events that have nothing to do with writing or the art, that will have a more profound impact on this world than I could have ever written. I think of this age as a gift to myself that I will wrap up and open some day in the future, only to discover that it has changed so much that indeed it is a surprise. Besides, I have yet another new age that awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some way to travel underwater in this new age. So much planning is in order. It has been ten years since I left this age, which I have since called the Stone Ship Age. Upon returning, I cannot believe the changes that have taken place. The original three boys have grown into adults, and there are many new faces I do not recognize. Branch told me it has not rained for seven years, and the cool breezes are back again. They are all very con content, and have been serving me with new foods and showing me new materials they have discovered. It, is, it even seems they have found gold somewhere. I see it in many forms around the island. My lighthouse has been kept in perfect condition, and it looks as if they have tried their very best to keep it so. Yet I have noted that the entire rock it was built on has sunk approximately 40 or 50 centimeters. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wonder aloud with them what things will be like here in another 10 years. Here we have pictures of constellations. 
definitely these are very important for them to all be written down. And uh, I think it's interesting that this journal is so old. Um, it, he comes back in 10 years and adds to it, which I think is really neat. Uh, shows how um, old some of these books must have been on the shelf. But yeah, the picture of the constellations, we have an anchor, an eye, a snake, a beetle, a cross, um, an arrow, a flamingo, and a leaf. So definitely if you're keeping notes, those would be things to, to write down or just remember to come back to. Now, in that journal entry, they talked a lot about a ship that Atris added to the age. Well, we've seen a ship. Well, it's right there. And we've also seen um, a sunken ship over here. Um, so it stands to reason that that book probably has something to do with that. So let's turn the tower rotation toward the ship. How's oh, that nice? It's right next to the cog. There is indeed some method to my madness.